hi guys how are you make sure you guys check out the video your shoes your story and the other video they want you to be alone okay i just want to say in the video they want you to be alone somebody mentioned in the comment section that that is called family gang stalking and you know it's so crazy i didn't even notice that that is a form of gang stalking that is gang stalking when you're fat a lot of you guys you've been gang stalked from your family first before strangers even gang stalked you do you guys notice that so if you check out those videos you'll see what i'm talking about because in the video your shoes your story i talked about how many of you guys have it you know have released yourself from your family and you didn't want to do it you were in denial about it you, you even gaslighted yourself for years because you didn't want to be the person to to say okay i have to remove myself from my, fam my family it's when god came in and actually told you to do it and instructed you to do it is when you actually did it and once you started to do that that's when the revelation started to hit that you have been gang stalked from your family for years hence why most of you guys who had that black sheep treatment scapegoat treatment this is why a lot of times your family would gang up on you nobody wanted to hear your side of the stories everybody always looked at you as the bad person the bad kid everyone always had conversations about you over the phone and always gossiped about you and spoke negatively about you everyone all it's like everything that good that would come in your life everybody would try to destroy or sabotage it and not only that but the verbal emotional spiritual physical abuse and now on top of that the spiritual abuse a lot of the family members doing witchcraft and sorcery to try to block you and in that video i talked about earlier your shoes your story i talked about many of you guys have that joseph anointing and it's like your family saw how you interacted with people they saw the goals you had they saw the ambitions you had they observed you from a very young age and saw there was favor on your life hence why now you guys are relating to the other video i posted this afternoon they want you to be alone hence why they have to do things to manipulate how people see you Hence why they had to do certain things and certain rituals to place that spirit of rejection on you. Hence why they did all that because they saw that favor on your life. They saw you had a Joseph anointing, which makes so much sense because if you have a few women in your family or people in your family that are witches and that you have some warlocks in your family, it's common sense. They're going to team up with each other and they're going to do what they need to do. Most of the times it's the very ones that would always team up against you when you were, when you were younger. Have you guys ever been in a situation like that where like, you're being blamed for something you didn't do and you have the whole family ganging up on you. Everybody's saying, oh, you did it, you did it. And everyone's talking about you and then you're like the odd one left out. That's what it is. That's gang stalking, y'all. That's gang stalking. We've experienced that at a young age. It's, it's pretty sad. But even like what I was explaining to someone today as I was talking to them on the phone, like sometimes they may not all be talking about doing the rituals. A lot of them like to keep it low key. You get what I'm saying? But... They're all doing it at the, around the same time. Like you may have one member in your family paying one person and then someone else in your family paying another person. And they're all doing it around the same time because they're all those. It's the very ones that put you down when you're younger. They're all still watching who you've become or who God is elevating you to be. They're all watching and then they're all fueled up with some type of anger because of that Joseph anointing. And they all get that, that same trigger at the same time to go do whatever they want to go do because that's what the devil tries to do. He tries to use them, right? You guys remember Joseph's brother saw that. Remember Joseph was loved by his dad, but his brothers were jealous and envious of his anointing. So they had to get rid of him. Do you see what I'm saying? And remember when, jo when um, Joseph ended up working for the king, not the king, but this master that he was working for, um, remember that, that master's wife, whatever, tried to get with him. And then she tried to lie on Joseph to affect the way how the, how her husband looked at Joseph. You see what I'm saying? So, and then Joseph ended up being favored again while he was in the jail. So no matter what they tried to do, there was still favor on Joseph's life, right? It's the same concept with you guys. No matter what people try to do, there's still favor on your life. The anointing is still there, even if they try to do things to affect how people see you. But it was just so crazy because I actually connected the two videos together because last night when I was talking to God about this exact thing I'm talking to you guys about, right? I didn't even notice that it was literally gang stuck. I just know God was talking to me about it. And he was talking to me about a list and letting me know how like he has a list of the people who are who have touched his anointed, right? And families even on that list for many of you guys too, right? Many of you guys, you have many family members on a list. 
that have been messing with you and trying to mess with your purpose. You may have like four or five of them. I know I have four in my family who's been doing things to me, you know? So it's like, it's, this is this is like, it's very, it's like a movie. It's like a story. It's very crazy. But at the same time, when I saw that young lady's comments about it be, being called family gang stalked, that's when the it just, it just clicked to me, like why they do things. Because gang stalkers usually do things to try to, avoid you from moving forward in life they try to block everything about you you know block um monitor your calls or emails block phone calls they try to do whatever they can to sabotage you from moving forward right and it's the same thing that family has been doing to us since we were children hence why even like a lot of the manipulation and trying to make us doubt ourselves and you know make us feel discouraged about our dreams and goals it's it's crazy you know what i mean like i said this is not gonna be for everybody um, you'll know because God would have already confirmed it to you. He would have already told you. But check out those two videos. But I wanted to just give you guys confirmation. Yes, this is called family gang stalked. And many of us, our first gang stalkers were actually families. Now that you think about it, you know? So anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.